everyone. Welcome to my show and share. It's nice to have your company. Okay, today I wanted to introduce you up close and personal to just some of the uh, papers uh, that um, I have created using my Boho Bohemian, <coughs> excuse me, Boho Bohemian coffee staining technique. Now in some of the tutorials that will either be in the description box or in my playlist to show you how to get this results, um, they're going back a few months now, quite a few months, <laughs> way back, and um, I didn't know what to call it. Sometimes I was calling it boho coffee staining, other times bohemian coffee staining, but I've decided to go with boho bohemian coffee staining, and this is basically it. Um, so, uh, what is it? Well, it's to use in our journals or in our mixed media projects or as backing for our tags and whatever paper crafts. If we're going for a gypsy or bohemian looking journal. Um, and that's why I've called it that way. There is a secret ingredient to this. It's such an easy, um, uh, technique to use, you'll be surprised with the results. So if you want to know how I did things, please check out my description box and I will have more of these tutorials on this coming up. I've got a, I've got about three or four but they might be attached together so we'll see how we go. Basically there's a secret ingredient but it's coffee, coffee brew, your papers, just cheap coffee stained, uh, coffee paper, uh, computer paper, um, and your favorite stencils. I like to use swirls. They really give it that boho feel. Um, it really kind of swirls the colors together. And what else? Um, yeah, you're just your favorite stencils. And of course, that secret ingredient. Excuse me. Okay, so let me give you a bit of a run through as to the kind of effects that you can get. So um, yeah, the colors are pretty vibrant. Um, so, so I'm just going to run them through for you and you can check them out. So the ones at the very top um, are just more of my more recent than way back in time. Um, when I was first designing it, I, you know, it was in its infancy stage when I was trying to create the formula so that I could share it with you. Um, because I do a lot of things organically, intuitively, I don't think about my processes until afterwards I go, whoa, how did I do that? So I'm, I'm trying to learn to be very mindful, uh, get my camera on so that we can, I can do this technique so that I can um, share it with you. Okay, so this one's got a bit of um, spray gold, which um, really gives it a great effect, uh, that kind of gypsy feel. So some of them are subtle, some of them aren't. Um, but some of the colors are extremely impressive. So, um, yeah, you'll notice that I use but mainly the one stencil, but each time the papers can look quite different. Now these were, oh, I forgot to mention, this one here, I made my own stencil. So I did love hearts and um, coils. Um, to make my own stencils. Now if that's something you're interested in, um, let me know in the comments below because I, I do have a tutorial on that, um, but you know, unless it's of interest, I may put it up. So that's my own stencils. This is again just my own stencils and a few little off cuts. And then you can just, it, I mean, really, it's all about um, your taste colors um, with that secret ingredient. And it really is so simple. Um, 
when you when you learn this technique. Um, okay, that's again my own little stencils with a spray of gold. I hope these are all in focus. Um, there we go. Again, my stencils. Is that my stencils? Yeah, I think it's my stencils. Okay, this is a bit of a different stencil. Um, let me see if I can come in a little bit closer just to show you. It does give you a very 3D effect. It feels like, um, and in some of the instances, it can almost feel embossed. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> My camera is really weird sometimes. Sometimes it wants to focus, other times it doesn't. It's very bizarre. So I do apologize for that. Yeah, no, it's just not wanting to focus today. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, um, I'm trying. Anyway, we'll do we'll do our best. Okay, so different different techniques. These were done without the actual um, stencils, and in fact, they're most likely mop-up papers from what was underneath, and then I've just worked on them. Um, so this is like the uh, the kind of when it was in its infancy I was designing that in mind um, just playing around with um, the method that will be in my um, tutorials so please check that out and I think this would have been maybe the first one I can't remember now or one of the first or very close to the first that kind of started it all going um, but yeah very very um, kind of boho, gypsy, colourful, interesting, um, exciting, I hope. <laughs> um, yeah, now these were again my own little stencils that I tried out, but they, they didn't actually work that well, but still a lot of fun. And again, So you can make yours as grungy or as um, ungrungy <laughs> or less grungy um, if you so wish. So, but yeah, I just thought if I showcase these. Now this was done on um, watercolour paper. So it's given it a different effect. Um, in other words, it's a lot more definitive whereas the others kind of a little bit more blurred. Um, this is quite um, intricate. Okay, so that's watercolour paper. Now this is digital photography paper and I got the wrong sort so rather than send it back I just thought, oh look, I'll see what else I can do with it because it wouldn't go with my printer and it looks amazing with this technique. Uh, look how um, defined the the stencil is. So I did I did the same process as the others, but this one came out this way because of the the paper. You can sort of see a little bit of the impressions of the stencil underneath. So you can get some really beautiful effects with this boho bohemian um, coffee staining technique. Um, I think this might have been digital paper as well. Um, and this is the digital paper. Now I'm going to run out of time in just a minute. So um, just bear with me. I'll definitely be attaching this to the next video. So again, the digital photography paper gives it far more of a defined finish uh, with a stencil. And you know, this is the negative of die cuts. And um, I use them to leave a lovely impression when I'm doing my um, coffee staining. So, um, yeah, it's another idea not to throw them away because those negatives of your die cut can really leave beautiful impressions. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a second. It's me, back in a second. 
Okay, so that was a digital paper. Um, this wasn't, this is computer paper. Basically, this was in its infancy um, of my technique as I was playing around with it. And, um, and these as well. So these are kind of like the origins of when it all started to happen. As I was trying to remember my process, um, I just feel that the coffee gives it that added interest and kind of ages it a bit. So none of the, these have all been air dried, okay, so all of these have been air dried and you get some incredible results from just air drying. Okay, so these ones are just recent and I do have the tutorial for that one. If it's not uploaded, please do put your notifications uh, bells on or um, subscribe so you'll be alerted to, <coughs> excuse me, when this one comes up. So this is the more recent one and um, I'll be definitely showing you the step-by-step -step process. So this has got quite a bit of the gold here, uh, not a lot but just a bit and this one's definitely got a lot and to me this is, this screams boho, bohemian, gypsy, um, kind of Indian, Middle, Middle Eastern, um, ethnic, mixed media, arty kind of a thing. There's another word, I can't think of it now. This one didn't have the gold, um, but this one did. Love these papers, just love them all. So, and this one um, needs a bit more work, but these basically worked as a team. These were a team, as you will see in the tutorial. Uh, because I encourage you to use papers for mop-ups. Um, but basically, again, um, this was kind of like, needs a bit more work. And I will show you what I mean when, I, when you check out that tutorial with the secret ingredient. Okay, so, um, yeah, so you can create all sorts of styles. You can get them looking pale, you can get them looking dark, you can get them looking grungy or just not grungy. Um, you know, you can do amazing things with the Boho Bohemian Coffee Staining. Alright everyone, so um, that's it for me. I hope this uh, makes you curious <laughs> and that it inspires you to um, to give it a try yourself uh, because I'll tell you what you're gonna love it it really is beautiful um, this technique just really really beautiful um, I hope I've been in frame and fo focus um, I don't know what my computer uh, my computer my my, my um, camera is doing today. It's just being very difficult. I'm sorry about that everyone. You don't want to hear about my woes. But anyway, um, yeah everyone, so this is the Boho Bohemian Coffee Staining Technique. These are just some of the results that you can get. Um, so please do check out my playlist or um, see the description box below. Um, so that you can try out this technique yourself with a step-by-step -step process. So I hope you enjoy it everyone. Um, yeah, it's an exciting process for those of us that love our boho, bohemian um, or gypsy journals um, or whatever kind of um, art uh, mixed media projects you're into. I hope you can add this process to that. So thank you for coming along on my little journey and on my show and share. And as always, I appreciate your company and please take care. Bye everyone. Thank you. Bye. Hey everyone. Welcome. It's Jab here. Um, it's great to have your company. So I've been showing you my um, Boho Bohemian coffee staining papers. And um, 
and there will be um, tutorials on how I created this technique. Um, just trying to focus. I hope it's in focus. My camera is playing up at the moment. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I wanted to show you the byproducts of doing this technique because um, the secret ingredient um, is colored cardstock. And what's amazing is is that if you cut them in die cuts or tear them up and you follow my technique, you get really beautiful, um, stunning uh, results uh, or byproducts, I should say. So, for example, can you see that? <clears throat> my voice is going today. I'm really sorry, everyone. I'm having real trouble. Let me just change my um, this around a little bit and see what we can do. It could just be, <laughs> it could just be my eyesight that's having trouble uh, rather than the camera. But um, yeah. Anyway, anyway, what I'm trying to show you. So I'm sorry if this is out of focus. Is the bleed effect. Of the cardstock with the other cardstock layered, the different colored cardstock, you get some pretty um, amazing impressions uh, with the byproduct. So, I will be doing a tutorial to show you how I use these um, the byproducts. So, let's see if we can just the colors and when you're when you're spraying with the gold as well, you can get some really really pretty effects. Um, what else have I got here? Whoops. Dropping everything. Um, so yeah, you can get some really interesting uh, results from the byproducts. What else have we got? Some really beautiful colors. So for your boho bohemian um, journals or mixed media projects, I mean, you know, if you cut them out in die cuts, basically you get all these beautiful um, impressions and colors bleeding through without you even trying. It's already done for you. And like I said, you can cut the pieces up with your hands or make your own geometric shapes or use your die cuts and, and you get some beautiful beautiful um, results that you can use in in other projects you might make your own um, <clears throat> mosaics with these I mean you know you can do so much but yeah I will show you um, uh, just one of the ways that you can use these little byproducts gorgeous colors but, and you know like I mean love this just just love it and they just all blend together and you get some pretty impressive pretty impressive images or um, not images but embellishments look at that now as I said I do apologize if I'm out of focus um, yeah <laughs> Oh, it's just one of those days, I think. Okay. So like I was saying, um, I just thought I would show you just some of the byproducts of uh, this technique. And you get so many. I mean, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is just layering of different um, colored paper to create the boho, boho bohemian coffee staining. So, yeah, um, but yeah, I just love that, 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 um, the results are just stunning, just absolutely stunning. Um, and then you can make your own stencils like I did there, so you can get some really groovy effects. And so you've got something like that. So yeah, I hope that, um, gives you sort of an idea of what you get from your boho bohemian coffee staining technique 
that I've been developing over the many months now and this is the byproduct of it and you get sort of so much uh, yield for little results um, and you can use them you know it's all up to your imagination and creativity as how you wish to use them um, but like I said I'll, I'll share them I'll share what I do with them with you um, in an upcoming video and if it's already uploaded I'll definitely have the link below so that's it everyone um, I'm sorry everything has been a bit of a I don't know my brain is just stalled on me I can't find my words and my camera decides not to focus I mean it's just just one of those days I guess but I will press on regardless press on um, yeah so I'll leave them down there but yeah it's exciting isn't it when you can um, when you can um, what's the word uh, so when you're doing your projects, isn't it exciting when you can use everything that you've been creating with it in your journals? I mean, that's what we're all about. We're all about um, repurposing things. So I show you how to use mop-up papers. Um, I show you how you can almost get like three results from one little effort. And then, of course, the yield of all these little colored cardstock byproducts um, and you can use them however way you wish so that's it from me everyone thank you so much for coming to my show and share um, I really appreciate your company it's always great to know that I have your um, your kind um, visit it's always lovely to have your visit and I hope you have a great day wherever you are. Uh, please stay tuned for more of these type of tutorials. Please keep your notification bells on so that you know when more of these tutorials are coming up. And for those that are new, welcome. Uh, just make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on these type of tutorials. And to my subbies, thank you. A warm thank you to you for being so supportive. It really means a lot. Thanks, everyone. Take care now. See you next time. Bye.